Good afternoon, this is Kyla Yana's real estate agent here in the San Antonio area, powered by Place. Here, I recently finished a book called Influence. I've never really shared um, every time that I finish a book, uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've read it or what you have implemented after you've completed. And so Influence, for me, it re actually reminds me of another book I can't think of the exact title, but it's about, it's Think Fast, Thinking Slow, and the whole thing about us being wired and making thoughtful, thought out, <clears throat> processing, analyzing all the details in order to make a thorough decision, and then also the thinking fast of trying to reach a conclusion as fast as possible. Our brain, of course, in order to survive and the more and more we we add onto our plate, the more decisions it has to make. And so our brain has certain shortcuts so that literally we don't get bogged down day to day making de decisions. And so that's the whole where your brain automatically goes into fast thinking, the other one where we can actually guide it and dive into slow thinking. And then influence is an overlap in how we actually find ourselves fast thinking in situations in society, decision making, purchasing, sales, uh, accepting relationships, things like that. And it, it cues, so the book goes into detail into how we get cued into saying yes or no in that fast thinking area of our minds and in, in society and it breaks it down uh, into reciprocation consistency social proof liking authority scarcity so in each of those situations uh it breaks it down as to once you are reciprocating something is that something that you've thought about or you're actually mirroring what the other person is is doing Consistency, we want to be consistent in our thoughts and what we say and so sometimes that can lead us into making decisions, sort of fast thinking decisions without really actually reaching a conclusion a little bit more logical, thoughtful, because we want to be consistent on statements that we've made previously. Social proof, just because we don't have the time to find out everything, we take cues from those around us. So what they're doing with us, us thinking, we actually follow along and we do as we see. Monkey see, monkey do. And so social proof is sometimes uh, can be a trap in fast thinking when in fact you should be doing some thoughtful thinking. Um, liking the same thing um, in the sense that um, if you feel liked or you are giving the impression that you like someone, then the same thing, it short wires into actually doing some fast thinking for the other person receiving that liking and, um, and being able to be influenced. Authority, something that we're taught from you know, from uh, from our youth, from growing up, for the sake of like stability and government and peace and um, all of that, there are certain areas for authority. But if we're not careful, then without really uh, going into that slow thinking, like methodical, logical, let's think about this, we may find ourselves in that fast thinking category and just getting cued into saying yes or no. And then the last one is scarcity. So um, if we find ourselves making decisions based on the scarcity of a product, an object, an experience, etc. Again, instead of sitting down and actually thinking about what's important, what we want to achieve, we may find ourselves uh, making decisions based on that. Now, all of these, like I said, our brain would literally be bogged down into paralysis if it had to think about everything. And so it's it, as we continue to grow and evolve and become better and better humans, we, uh, we actually have to come up with these fast thinking strategies to, to be able to reach decisions. 
Now, the only time is that you should double think or take do a double take of something that's happening is when you find yourself having that residual feeling of this isn't the decision I want to make and this is not the decision I would like to make. And so if that's something that comes up, then it's a cue to actually sit down and think about like, what do I really want to do? Now, when we don't have the inclination, the time, the energy, or the cognitive resources to undertake a complete analysis of a situation, that's where we find ourselves in that fast thinking in each of these categories, uh, where we are rushed, stressed, or uncertain, indifferent, or fatigued, also influences into making those uh, fast decisions without really thinking of the details. And so we revert to a single piece of evidence available. Um, so if it's reciprocation, consistency, social proof, liking, authority, scarcity, that's the single piece of evidence we'll revert to to make that decision when we find ourselves, right, um, rushed, stressed, uncertain, indifferent, fatigued. Now, with the increase of decisions on our plate, we are re relying on making these decisions quickly. So as you know, humanity continues to increase, technology continues to increase, there's more and more decisions we need to make. So it's just food for thought, like how can I make better decisions when my myself, I'm telling myself like, this doesn't feel right. I don't think this is the right decision I would be making. And I feel rushed or stressed or uncertain or indifferent. And so then that should be our cue to actually take time and actually think about what is important and how to make that slow thinking decision. If you have read it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and how you're implementing what you've learned from this book. For me, I know that there's times and seasons where we do need to take accountability of our decisions. Like, what am I trying to accomplish? How am I going to get there? Um, do I feel stressed? Do I feel, you know, rushed? Do I feel uncertain? Do I feel indifferent? Do I feel fatigued? But it, when it's important is when you're getting that cue of like, this doesn't feel right. Like you should take a, mo a moment because it's it's a big deal. And so I that to me that spoke, I'm like, okay, there's certain things that you can, you know, rush and take decisions on. <clears throat> And if I want to be influenced, like I'm okay being influenced by this type of either media or person or company or sales pitch or whatever, then it's like at least it's a conscious one and I didn't get duped into doing something that I didn't want to do. But yeah, that was my experience. I'm actually going into another book called Friend Fluence and that one I'm going to start this evening on my drive and on my drive home. I'm pretty sure it has the same topic of like how those around us actually influence us and how they are a reflection of who we want to either become or who we already are at our core. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's a notion of that, but we'll see. I'll confirm whether that's the actual topic or not. But it was a great read. Thanks so much for sticking around and I appreciate your time. I hope you have a fantastic week. Talk to you soon.